shift Boyer D2. Today I was thinking, I want to make something different. So I thought, what is something we all crave? In fact, it makes our heart go pitter-patter. Unfortunately, there always has to be someone to initiate it. But once it's done, it satiates us. It even gives us afterglow. You're probably wondering where I'm going with this. So get your dirty minds out of the gutter. I'm talking comfort foods. I have a leftover ham bone, so I'm deciding what to make with it. And I've decided on white bean soup with ham in it, a total comfort food. And I'm going to make it with cornbread. The beauty of doing these videos is that my better half and my assistant Dex love that I do them because you know why? They eat well. So, as my rule, let me get all my ingredients together and I'll be right back to see what we do with this piece of ham, you dirty-minded people. Okay, my bloggers, as you can see, I have everything ready on the counter right next to the stove where I have my heavy Dutch oven soup pot and then I obviously have my ham with the bone in it left over from last night's spiral ham and I have the ingredients to almost every soup my onion, carrot, and celery. Then we go to the great northern beans, some chicken broth, my minced garlic in a jar. I'm over chopping that stuff up. Some seasoning, and it's going to be cumin and some bay leaves my extra virgin oil to cook in, and my kosher salt and pepper. So, I got all my ingredients. The first thing I'm going to do is chop, chop, chop. And of course, since I'm chopping my ham first, once I'm done with that, what are we going to do? We are going to clean off the board with soapy water and a diluted vinegar solution. Then I am going to chop up my onion, some carrots, and celery. I will give you all the ingredients in the video. Stay tuned. One thing I want to emphasize before we get started is knives. They need to be sharp. So therefore, you need to sharpen them each time before you cook. This is my favorite knife. It's called a Sudoku. Not like the crossword puzzle or the puzzle, but it's a great beveled knife. And I'm going to use a boning knife. A little thinner, gets around the bone easy. Always sharpen your knives. All right, I am now ready to cook. I have chopped, minced, and diced everything. The beans have been rinsed and put in a strainer. That's two cans of northern beans. There is my ham all chopped up and in a bowl. I have three cans of chicken broth opened and ready to go. I have the equivalent of four minced garlic cloves. I don't know, I just take it out with a spoon. From my minced garlic jar, I have my two bay leaves, my cumin ready to go for seasoning, and then the oil, which I am going to take my 
one cup of a yellow onion, which is the equivalent, people, to a uh, medium-sized onion peeled and diced. I have two red potatoes diced. I have five little munchy carrots that you get in the bag um, sliced thinly, and two celery stalks. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the oil and put it in the Dutch oven. I'm going to saute my onions and then with the garlic. And since we have everything ready to go, then we're going to put the rest of the ingredients in and it is going to be so easy. I have been sauteing the garlic and the onion for about five minutes and it's nice and soft. So now I'm going to add the rest of the vegetables. The potatoes, the carrots, the celery, stir them up, I'm going to add the beans, the ham, The chicken stock? Is this not the easiest? Reggie, even you can do that. Very easy. The cumin. Two bay leaves. Salt. Another stir. And then I'm going to cover this and put it on a low simmer for a good hour. So stay tuned. Look how easy that is. Now I have everything in the pot, as you can see, and I have it on a low to medium burner. And I'm going to do it for a good hour and a half, not an hour. As the chef, I get to change my mind. So sit day tuned. I'm going to do all the dishes and start cleaning my pantry. Bye-bye. As you can see, the soup has definitely gotten thicker. And there is that wonderful ham bone that has been cooking in it. I'm going to take that out and take the rest of the meat off it. Look how thick that soup is. It's going to be delicious. And I will probably play with it and season it and I'll tell you what I've done. And I'll wait for the cornbread to get cooked. Stay tuned. It is now on the table. We've cooked the cornbread. The soup is thick. As you can see by the, and it is mouth-watering. Bosco's like, hurry up, I want to eat. We did add a little celery salt to it, which I'll put in the directions to give it some more flavor. And we added a little kick with the chipotle and adobe sauce. And of course, an adult libation to help with the meal. So from our house to yours, enjoy.